Hey everyone, I have another prophetic word that God gave me to share with you all. I got this one a couple days ago and I've been praying about it and asking God if he wanted me to share it and he gave me the green light on this. And I'm really excited that I get to share this with you and also just to see how all these words that he's given his prophets and his people are just lining up so much. And it's like 1 Corinthians 13 talks about where it's like we are we prophesy in part and we we look through a glass darkly. It's like we don't have the full picture, but he's given these these little bits and pieces of what what he needs us to know. And he has some major plans for these times that we're in right now. And the enemy is not smarter than him. And we need to always remember God wins. So we need to just trust in the things that he gives us and tells us and trust that the encouragement and words that he's telling us in these prophetic words like this are are of him and it, it is of importance to listen to it and he's telling us these things for a reason so here we go he says my children you are living in times of where great trouble is rising on every side but never forget that i am god and i am watching over you and i will not fail you i will not forsake you as you see the enemy continue to build up their walls and fortify themselves do not be alarmed in this, for the armor I have given you is much stronger and more fortified than the and impenetrable than theirs ever could be. I see their weak spot. I see their house as just a house of cards that is ready to fall. Move forward and step with me in the places that I light up for you. The pathway that I set for you, even that even if that path seems like the less favorable one, like the one that looks to be winding and longer, or the longer way. For you have done this in the years past, and I've seen your hearts. But now that longer looking path will be revealed as the short, quick path. The enemy will never achieve what they thought they were going to have on their path. The path that I have laid before you, the unknown path, the risky path, that is the path I have chosen for you. And I and you have done well to step out in that, my wild ones. I am soon bringing this to a head, to the junction you have been waiting and asking me for. Hold on just a little longer, children. For have I ever failed? Have I ever been defeated? Have I ever led you wrong? Keep moving forward in what I have told you to do, and I will lead you into this victory. Mountains will fall and crumble. Giant structures, skyscrapers, will move themselves out of, your, out of the way from you. Speak and call down those principalities of wickedness, for your voices will bring them down. Just as I had my people circle around Jericho and yell, I will have you use your voice and raise it up at the right time, and their walls will fall, and you will take the land. You will take the territory. Do not be afraid. Only look to me, for I am light, and I will illuminate your path. I will show you the way step by step, and you will see further on down the road why I did things the way that I did them in this time. So that's the end of what he spoke to me. And, you know, it's incredible to receive these kind of words because God is not just, you know, Kind of just trying to figure it out along the way. He actually has this plan. He saw all these things coming and he knows exactly where it's going. And he's going to provide for us as his people, all the things that we need. We're going to be victorious in these times that we're living in. So we don't need to be afraid. We don't need to get all worried and anxious about things. In fact, his word says, don't be anxious, but cast all your cares to him, right? He says, don't be afraid, only look to me. And all of these wild ones that he's talking about are these ones that have been not just going the world's way, but going the way that God has instructed us to do behind the scenes. And we haven't been seen. We haven't been known. But he's about to make all the training that he's done in our lives come to fruition and the fruit will bear. So these are really exciting times that we're in. And honestly, Let's keep praying about this. I encourage you to pray about this word in your own life and see if this is something that really speaks to what God is telling you in your life as well. And let's just keep moving forward and keep trusting God in all that we're doing. 
I love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you real soon. God bless you.